Hey everybody, welcome to the first video of our Mapping Whitetail series that we're doing in partnership with Onyx. You guys are constantly asking us how we find good deer hunting spots on public land and that's what this whole series is going to be dedicated to. The first part, the one I'm going to get to today here in just a minute, we're going to dive into the initial stages of just finding a place to hunt. For the second part, we're going to talk about identifying hunting pressure from a map. Part three, we're going to head out to one of these public areas that we pick put some boots on the ground and help you identify access points to use when using the area. On the fourth part, we're gonna come back here, revisit our maps for the final time and try to figure out exactly where we're gonna hunt. We're gonna look for bedding areas from a map, potential stand locations. We're gonna talk about our access routes that we already scouted out on the previous video. And then for the fifth part, we're gonna head back out one last time and actually dive into this public area deep in there, find buck bedding areas, find those stand locations that we plan on hunting this fall. And then to wrap everything up, we're gonna bring you guys back in here to the office with us and shoot a live podcast talking about all your questions and comments over the course of the five video series. So as we get into these videos, please don't hesitate to comment and ask questions below. That'll kind of help give us some good talking points to get into once we start the live podcast at the end of this series. And to start things off here, I wanna talk about the big picture. We use Onyx all the time. It really is an incredibly useful tool for whitetail scouting and hunting and just finding places to hunt. I mean, there's tons of people out there that are looking for spots to hunt. This is a great tool to use. And if you're interested in the Onyx Hunt app, you can go to their website, onyxmaps.com. Just use our promo code. It'll save you 20%. Our code is capital T, capital H, capital P, THP. With that said, on this first video, we're going to talk about how to find a good public area to hunt. I'm gonna head down here to Iowa. First thing I'm looking at is where are the highest concentrations of people? In Iowa, there's not a lot of them. You got Des Moines in the center of the state, and then out on the west side of the state and the east side of the state, you've got some bigger cities. So I'm not really wanting to target public areas close to those cities. Not to say that there's, there's bad hunting there. There still could be very good hunting there. But what I'm looking for are areas that have less human pressure. So I'm going to avoid those just to start out. I'm gonna concentrate on the southern part of the state and I've picked these three areas out. They're a pretty good ways from the big cities. There's not a lot of towns even close by, so the local pressure should be fairly low. And they're also not the biggest areas. Many people wanna to flock to the biggest acreage area to hunt for deer. And that can be good because it allows you a lot of options but those are also the ones that really pop out on a map to all the other hunters around. We're looking for spots where we can get away from people, which means you know hiking way back in somewhere or finding places that are overlooked. So that's something that we're constantly toying with when picking a new area to hunt. And these three little pieces down here are not huge by any means, but they're big enough that they leave you with plenty of options. You know, you got an area here at the bottom right that's 1,500 acres, then you got another one that's 2,500 acres, all within about a half hour of one another. And on top of that, you got these little uh, IHAP chunks, which are walk-in areas. They're basically just private land that has been leased to the state for hunting rights. Now, another key feature to look for when trying to pick an area is habitat diversity. When you're hunting whitetails, you don't necessarily want the same habitat throughout the area. Deer are creatures of edge. So we're looking at areas that have a mix of timber, ag, potentially marsh, water. All these things are necessary to finding good spots to hunt, public or private. So I'll just show you an example of what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna zoom in on this public area. You've got some bigger ridges, hardwood ridges here that probably got a lot of acorns on them. They've got some topography there. It look like they're pretty steep. They fall off into a creek bottom. And then around that creek bottom, you got some, some pockets of cedar, some thicker cover it looks like, multiple different tributaries that run off that creek, lots of fields, pastures, and this is all in about a 500 acre chunk. Another thing you'll notice on Onyx is there's lots of different types of public land. There's different types of areas. You've got WMAs, you've got walk-in areas, you know, state forests, national forests national wildlife refuges. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Some areas have different regulations than others. So keep that in mind as you're looking for spots to hunt. They can all be good. And some of them can even be overlooked, like I mentioned a minute ago with these IHAP tracks. 
And I guess the point here is once you find the location that you want to hunt, really dig into the specific areas and their regulations so that you're fully prepared once you get there and actually start scouting. I guess the main takeaway here is that you don't want to put yourself in an area where you do not have options. That will eliminate you from the game real fast because public land hunting pressure will change constantly from year to year, from week to week. You just never know with these spots, especially in Iowa. I mean, we'll have a group of five to 10 guys come in at the beginning of November and hunt an area that maybe hasn't been hunted in several years. So by choosing a general location like this, you leave yourself with an out in case your initial plans don't work out for you. But that's a general overview of what we're looking for when we're trying to find places to hunt. I'll kind of recap everything we've discussed so far. You're looking for the metropolitan areas. You're looking for the big cities. You're trying to avoid those. Then you're looking for areas with good habitat diversity. And lastly, you want to have plenty of options when you finally pick a general area to go hunting. That way you don't get handicapped and end up wasting a bunch of time. But on the next video, we're gonna dive into more detail about this specific area that we picked. We're gonna talk more about how to predict hunting pressure and look for entry points to access the public land. So you don't wanna miss that one. Thank you guys for joining us. And once again, if you don't already have the Onyx Hunt app, you can save 20%, just use our promo code. Just head over to onyxmaps.com, use that, save you 20%. But thanks for watching. We will see you on the next video.